David, tonight, an update on an I-team investigation into a pile of asbestos in Chelsea. Last month, the State Department of Transportation admitted that it dumped this contaminated debris in the community near public housing without ever telling Chelsea officials. MassDOT has spent weeks removing the hazardous soil and says that it's actually ahead of schedule. Our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiandaka, broke the story and has new details. This is all that's left of the asbestos pile that the state dumped in Chelsea. White plastic covering up the last of the contaminated soil. Last month, the I-team discovered the hazardous debris sitting uncovered with danger signs around it on the highway next to public housing. And I do want to thank Cheryl Fiandaka from WBZ for her amazing investigative reporting who brought this to our attention. It could have been another year that we sat with this contaminated pile in our backyard had it not been for your investigative reporting. It had been there since last July. The state never told Chelsea, and in a community meeting last week, the state highway administrator, Jonathan Gulliver, would only apologize for the miscommunication. We've given the apology we're going to give. There was an intentional not letting folks know what was there. Again, we follow the regulatory process. Of course, the regulations have been yep. committing environmental racism for decades. Mass DOT has spent weeks trucking the soil to an out-of-state landfill. During the removal, the state conducted air quality testing and tells the I-team results have not shown any dangerous levels of asbestos. Still, residents are concerned about getting sick in the future, worrying about all the months when the pile wasn't covered and no testing was done. You dump hazardous material in a low-income community, in a community of color, and you don't acknowledge that, that there's something wrong with that. They should have come here saying, not only are we sorry, but how do we do right by you? The Department of Transportation tells the I-Team it put new rules in place to prevent something like this from happening again. Meantime, Greenroot says it's looking into suing the state. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.